What do you think about this? If you went missing, would the country hear about it? There is a new tool this week out from the Columbia Journalism Review asking a few simple questions. Fill out your age, ethnicity, or broad location. It instantly calculates the number of media stories you're likely to get if you went missing. Take a look at some of the numbers. According to the calculator, if a 22-year-old white woman in New York went missing, it would generate 67 stories. If she was just three years old or 25, that number goes down to 19. A 25-year-old black woman from New York, just eight stories. A 50-year-old black man in New York, just six. What state you're in also matters. For example, if a 22-year-old white woman went missing from Nevada, the new tool estimates more than 92% of Americans would have heard about her story. It's meant to put data behind a topic that has recently come to the forefront, so-called missing white woman syndrome. The idea that the public and media often overlooks missing people of color or people who don't fit into a very specific category. Even Gabby Petito's parents thanking the media and social media for the spotlight they shone on their daughter, but also said they want the same resources to be available to everyone. I want to ask everyone to help all of the people that are missing and need help. And like I said before, it's on all of you, everyone that's in this room, to do that. <coughs> and, and if you don't do that for other people that are missing, that's a shame. Because it's not just Gabby that deserves that. All right, so joining us now for reaction to this new tool, former FBI agent Jennifer Koffendoffer. Jennifer, great to see you. Thanks for being here. Great to see you, Natasha. So the Columbia Journalism Review says that the tool is based on actual statistics of missing people and the stories that are devoted to them. I put in my info, the stats so depressing. So woman in her 30s of mixed ethnicity in a major city, I would get eight news stories devoted to me. Um, what does this tell us, Jennifer? Well, I think it tells us that uh, certainly the focus in mainstream media over the years has been on white women in terms of the demographic and young white women. And by the way, Natasha, I sadly was a seven. Oh. Uh, so <laughs> test myself also. I think a lot of it is my age and the fact that I, I'm ethnic. And it certainly puts us at a lower level for receiving uh, media coverage. Absolutely. And by the way, I'll put a link to uh, this online tool on my Instagram page. It's a little difficult to find so people can enter their info and take a look at the stats. Uh, so the goal of the exercise to draw attention to so-called missing white woman syndrome and also, you know, the two factors they mention as well that can make a difference in coverage. And, and we can look at Gabby Petito, for example, having a ton of photos, a ton of media available and also a family spokesperson who is willing to go to bat. What do you make of those two factors as well? Oh, it's incumbent on the family and their loved ones to get these stories out. Social media, I think, is really uh, the main nexus for getting these stories uh, going and alive. And I think it's just imperative um, that social media combined with mainstream media is necessary to get their, their stories out there. That's what happened in the Gabby Petito case. Absolutely. And I mean, to your point, coverage, not just a vanity metric, it actually helps people be found. So what needs to be done, in your opinion, and what can families of victims do who feel that they are not getting the coverage they deserve? Well, I think, number one, they need to make posters. They need to get all the information out there, as you said, pictures that make that person come alive so that the media and individuals can fall in love with that individual space and want to put it out there. Um, secondarily, they need to get involved in social media forums, such as on Twitter and on uh, Facebook, that you have a huge community of people that want to help other people, that want to advocate that want to help find the missing. So I think these are the main focuses that families can go to. Absolutely. And I think, you know, of course, there's the media responsibility as well to fight implicit bias and make sure that these stories get told. For the record, Jennifer, if knock on wood, anything happens to you, I'm assuming foul play. We're going to wall to wall coverage and News Nation. If anything <laughs> happens to me, I don't want nine stories. I want wall to wall coverage. I want Chris Cuomo talking about it ad nauseum. Same goes for Gary, our floor director. For the record, I'm all over it on Twitter. 100%. <laughs> Jennifer Koffendorfer, appreciate you as always. Thank you for your time. Thank you, Natasha.
All right. Thank you for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.